And this right here, I wake up every morning and just fondle these. Oh my God, this level of organization makes, ma makes, me, makes me cone 10 hot. Hello, you dirty potters. How are you today? So this one's gonna be kind of just a chill episode. Long story short, I need to do a little bit of renovating before I open up my website. I told a lot of you guys, well, mostly because you guys have been bugging me, that I would open up a store pretty soon selling all my stuff because I like to kind of hoard my own stuff and I like to use it for experiments and I break a lot of my stuff. But long story short, I have to redo a lot of my workstations. But the things that I really want to do is I want to replace this because this is where all my kiln furniture is right now and I want like an actual shelf to put up here. I want to replace this right here, which means I'm going to Ikea for two shelves, and then I also want to replace this over here, which is essentially where I'm holding like all my Amico and Coyote glazes and all like my packing peanuts and everything. I just kind of want it to look a little bit more professional. I want it to be a little bit more organized. Like I want all the kiln furniture to go in one place, and I want all my glazes that from sponsors that contact me to go in one place. And then I want all I want all the packing peanuts to, uh, to can you can you guess Just one place? So we're going to IKEA today. Oh wait, by the way, by we I mean me and my beautiful girlfriend. She's gonna drive so I can do the camera. Oh joy! Ha! <laughs> she also has to get some bookshelves so that we can get a bunch of boxes out of here that have a bunch of books in them, and so that we can go ahead and put them in that room over there. Wait, you can't, you can't see it. It's over there though, trust me. Long story short, I just want this place to be a little bit more organized. If I had it my way, if I really did, and I know I'm talking for a long time, but if I had it my way, I would get a second one of these tables right here and put it in an L shape here or put it over here. So that way I can take all this stuff and put it on shelves or something over there. So right now what we're gonna do, off camera, cause you don't wanna see it, is we're gonna measure a lot of this stuff and then we're gonna go to Ikea and see what we can grab. So there's a couple things here for organization and workability that are no-brainers. Number one, on Monday nights, I usually do a live cast on Instagram and watch anime in the background with you guys. So because of that, the camera is usually right here, pointing this way. So I want it to at least be this tall, which means this space has to be filled. So this needs to be the measurement for this right here. And for this over here, I want it to be at least waist height. I don't, I don't want to put my, I don't really want to put my camera down here, but uh, you know. Which, by the way, as we're driving there, I, I really need to talk to you guys because I took a poll on YouTube asking you guys, do you like to see my face? Do you like to see my hands? And the high majority of you were like, oh, we just want to see the artwork. And then I release a video that has almost nothing to do with ceramic artwork, of ju just my face, and it gets like 5G views in one day. Something you want to tell me? Huh? You have anything to say to them? Wow, this is abuse. This is verbal abuse. <laughs> place is essentially famous for like keeping people who get lost as employees, breakups, and meatballs. Baby, you want to go Chipotle? No! You want Ikea meatballs? No. Yes, you, yes, you do. I want the cake. I want the cake. So I'm looking around right now and I see this and I really, really like this right here but also this is too like i don't really need i could hang my whisks and stuff in here but this would be a glaze station thing like there's no real reason to have this and i don't have stuff i need to put in drawers really because all my stuff is up for display because i'm a visual artist they, it kind of needs to be out and then i'm kind of looking at this and this is cool but also this is taller than i am and i don't really need this Exactly, yeah, it also has to lean on a wall, so I don't really need, I don't need it to do that, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure this is for wine, and I'm, I'm not a wine, I'm not a wine person. My favorites are the people that, like, get home and drink wine every day, and they pretend like they're not alcoholics, but they is, though. They just think it's fancy. What, what do you have to say about that, ma'am? F them Karens. Ah. See, my fault is that I look at stuff like this and I'm like, ooh, 
that would look real good in the studio. But then from putting the drywall in and painting the wall and putting the putting the drywall anchors in and hanging up shelves myself, now I'm like, now I understand the work it takes to hang something like this up and I don't want to do that. And it's Ikea, so I have to build it anyway. I kind of want something I can build and just put in a place. So I'm probably going to skip these as well. Something like this would be perfect because I can put so like all that stuff with my glazes on it. I can very easily store those somewhere else on a different shelf and put that metal cabinet underneath here. So this would be great. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to check this out. Okay, so I think we found it, right? I remember doing this in a previous episode. It was kind of in between this right here, right? And I'm really into this color, this texture, and then it has extra space down below. The only thing I would like is for this to be gone. I don't need this whatsoever. This thing right here, but this is pretty much just a larger version of that, and it has this up here. I don't need this, even though it would kind of be cool, but I just plain don't need it. I do know that I could fit three gallon buckets down there and not down there, though. I know that for sure. This is just not as wide of a space as that is, so that that's kind of a contender, but this is $500, while this over here is three hundred dollars so this is this is looking better than that just by price alone so i don't know how you guys do it where you're from but in america our kias have like a food section where you can take a little break because the stores are usually so large so we're gonna take we're gonna take a little food break okay oh i love you so these these would be really good for killing for oh they're they're plastic never mind they're plastic see this is kind of the messed up part is that even the last episode that I was here when we were looking for like those other shelves the, the store themselves have cool stuff like this like this would be amazing and perfect for me I would love this in the corner of, of my garage studio but like clearly this is for use of workers and not for sale i think i'm gonna get this this is exactly what i've kind of been looking for everything that i seem to like is the Broer brand but the difference is that that big old kitchen table i liked before was like 500 dollars. this i can get two of these big things put them in the studio right double tiered in a top shelf that matches kind of the wood aesthetic of what we already have on the channel for you know i can get two of those for underneath the price of that one big table stick them together put them wherever i want so i think i might just get two of these unless unless i find something better because that kind of is this entire thing i walk into ikea and i'm like oh it looks so good and then you know five seconds later i find something better that i'm like no this looks so good so i think i made my decision i'm gonna buy one of these bars right here one of these big old tables and then i'm also gonna buy one of these big old shelves because they stacked a bunch of pottery on there and i was like well that makes total sense so we're gonna get one of these five shelves and we're also gonna get one of those drawers over there which by the way i know that i'm like a pottery snob but firstly one of two things so this is raw work it's raw on the outside and it's glazed on the inside this is the way you save glaze as a production potter secondly these say handmade these are not handmade what are the chances of these being handmade and having all the exact same size the exact same shape the exact same glaze, everything like that. This is not true. What they really do is they slip cast these and somebody probably hand glazes them and then the rest of the process is done by a machine. But the fact that somebody touched them one time makes them able to put a handmade marker on it. So for those of you who haven't been to Ikea, they pretty much put the aisle and everything on the items. So when you're shopping through, you can see the aisle and where it's placed at, what peg and all that. And they place it up there, the aisle numbers, and then you go down the aisle by yourself and then you pick it out. It's not too hard to figure out. We're looking for 18, I believe, in aisle 23. So it's nighttime now, as many of you can tell, and we are very tired. Um, I'm sure there's a certain amount of you that want to see me struggle and put this thing together in the dead of night while I'm super tired. But the queen is going to sleep because she got off work and then did this for me. 
Um, thank you. I love. I'm exhausted. She's very tired. She wants to go to sleep very badly. I haven't slept in two days. I'm probably gonna stay up throughout the night, as you guys know I usually do, and I'm probably gonna build this thing. Uh, but I don't think you guys want to see like sped up footage of me struggling and watching anime in the background. It's not. Thank you. It's, what? No. I'm gonna see you curse at it. What? Those are brake lights in my eye. Oh, I'm gonna wait till those go away. I it's really. A light. I don't like bright lights. It's why I work in a cave. I literally come home to him sitting in the dark and doing nothing, and it terrifies me. Yeah. No, that's very true. She'll come home and I'll be playing Destiny in the dark, or I'll be editing like in the dark. I don't. I do no, not no. like bright lights. I'm talking about when you're sitting on like your phone or waiting for something in just like a dark room in a corner for no reason. Yeah, that's. I will. I will actively do that. That is very true. You scare the crap out of me. I. I like the dark. I just do. We got all this stuff for like less than three hundred dollars. We got two really nice shelves. We got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go now because the lights behind me and in front of me and everywhere are screwing up the lighting of the camera and it's gonna bug me during editing. So I love your dirty Potter faces and I will see you later. Okay, so just because I didn't wanna make it seem like we went through all of that together and you didn't get to see the end result of it and it was just gonna like appear in future episodes without me telling you about it, much like that stuff over there, I didn't make a video about it. I just kinda, it just appeared one day. I'm going to be either replacing these two or these two with the two shelves I bought or one of these stacks and that stuff over there, which, you know, if, the, if one of the shelves is too high, like if that goes over there, that's perfect. But that clearly that big old long one there can't go up there because there's already shelves there. Right. So that's probably going to go back there. And then that is probably going to go over there with any luck. If not any luck, then this will go over there. So give me a second. I will show you guys in a bit. I didn't want to like cuck you guys. I didn't want to go through all that stuff and then be like, you don't get the end. <laughs> so here's a picture of a cute cat in the top corner right here. Give me like five seconds of your time, maybe a whole day of my time, and I'll be right back, you little cutie. The next morning. Okay, so it's a couple of days later, and technically by this point, we're in quarantine. So I went to the clay store this morning and bought about 300 pounds of clay and loaded my shelves. So these are the new shelves. You can see down there I've put a lot of my kiln furniture and my kiln shelves. That's kind of where I store my clay. This right here is where towels go and I want this level to stay really clean, which is why the towels are here. So like once every couple of days, I'll just dust this off. Because of course, as a ceramic artist, you're gonna get silica and dust everywhere, it just happens. So I'll take these and I'll kind of wipe down everything every couple of days. This is where I hold the high majority of my kiln furniture that are not kiln shelves, as well as the brick that cleans off my kiln shelves, some of my cone watchers, my first brick that I vented stuff with, I don't need it anymore, I just keep it for sentimental value. I know I have a lot of Pepsi here, but I, I honestly almost never drink Pepsi, to be honest with you. But my Basically, my mother-in-law at this point, her mother gave her a case of Pepsi, and no one drinks it. And me being who I am was like, well, I can't let things go to waste, so I guess I'm having it. And up here is where I hold all like the sentimental stuff that I don't want to get rid of. Uh, a book up there, an old wallet that I'm kind of fond of. Some pieces that you haven't seen yet. The old Pokeball that we already did an episode on. And then over here is kind of the station where I hold a lot of my glazes. So these are all the glazes that Amico sent me that we will be doing a review on soon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You can't see the rest of them. They're blocked off. You only get to see the first ones. Nice try. And I also have a bunch of glazes that Mako sent me that you guys haven't seen yet. I will probably give you that video before this video though. So you probably technically have seen it as of this moment. But this shelf is doing pretty well. This is gonna be like my boxing shelf for when my store opens. And here's all my packing peanuts. And it's, it's just it just makes me happy that everything's organized now. Amico over here, and all the Celadons here, and all the non-Celadons here, and Mako over here, and all the underglazes here, and all the non-underglazes here, and they're nice and separated. The way that organization was meant to be. And then, you know, I have a couple things down there that I misplaced. But you know what? I'm fairly happy with this. This looks a lot better than what we began this episode with. And this right here, I wake up every morning and just fondle these. Oh my god, this level of organization makes ma makes me makes me cone 10 hot. But thank you, Dirty Potters, for joining me today. If you would like to see any of my actual artwork, the links are always down below for your beautiful Potter eyes to see. The, the Instagram, the Facebooks, 
the the YouTube well you're already kind of here so I guess that doesn't count but the, the subscribe buttons down below you should tickle that a little bit we don't do Twitter because most of it's just really angry teenagers who don't have the wisdom of how to deal with life but they all happen to have the knowledge because we have an open sourced internet thing where like tells you everything you need to know about the world but you don't know how to handle it yet and my emotions Ugh. hopefully your guys's next kill look comes out fantastic and I will see you dirty potters next week I don't even know what they said.